shopping sequence to be implemented for grocery shopping days this weekend. We'll have details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Wednesday, April 8th, 2020, I am Rakisha St. Louis. A new approach is being considered to facilitate an easier shopping experience when the next grocery shopping days roll around on Saturday and Sunday. People will be allowed to shop within a stipulated period of time in the morning or afternoon, depending on their last name. During a press conference on Wednesday, head of the RGPF Community Relations Department, Superintendent Vanny Cohen, explained that the process will be done in alphabetical order. We are experimenting with a new sequencing, and so shopping on these two days will be conducted by alphabetical sequencing in two trenches by surnames, first A to M and N to Z, and I'm going to explain. On Saturday the 11th, persons whose last name or surname starts with an A to M will shop from 8 a.m to 12 noon. And persons with surnames starting from N to Z will shop from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. You would notice there is a space of an hour, one hour between the two shopping periods. And this is necessary so to allow the first tranche to complete their shopping before we start accessing persons from N to Z. The following day, which is Sunday the 12th, the reverse is going to go into effect, meaning that surnames from N to Z will now shop from 8 a.m. to 12 noon, and surnames from A to M will shop from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Now, why this is necessary? The powers that be have been listening to all of the complaints that we have had on the ground. You would appreciate that for the last couple of days, shopping days were very chaotic, disorganized, and it caters for the clustering of persons violating the six feet physical distancing protocol. To avoid this, this new sequencing system is now being introduced as a trial run to see how well it works going forward. He says the new shopping sequencing model will allow for early shopping for both categories on alternate days. Persons venturing out to shop on those days are required to present an identification card to the officer present or any other official designated to carry out checks. We accept the fact that not everyone may be in possession of a picture identification. So the police officers at the respective points, they were trained and spoken to, and so some discretion will be exercised to ensure that persons can get the service. We wouldn't want to deny somebody buying foodstuff because they cannot properly identify themselves because their identification doesn't have a picture ID on it. Um, at the end of the day, that's not the intent here. The intent here is to have people to shop, but have them shop in an orderly and organized fashion. So in cases where that cannot be ascertained, the discretion of the police officers will be used, but the underlying reason is to ensure that persons who need those essential service items can access them. Shopping will be conducted at the parish level with the exception of St. David, where shoppers will be allowed to visit supermarkets or grocery shops in the parish of St. George. The motoring public is getting an opportunity to fill their gas tanks on Thursday. All gas stations will be open on Thursday, April 9th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and motorists are required to obtain gas within the parish of residence. The regulation stipulates that only one vehicle per household will be allowed and that vehicle must contain only one person. Drivers are required to remain in the vehicle. Failure to do so will result in removal from the line. Healthcare workers presenting appropriate ID will receive a 50% discount at all Sol gas stations. There is no restriction on the amount of gas that can be purchased, but persons will not be allowed to fill gas bottles. The convenience stores at all gas stations will remain closed. 
Continuing with the news, the Traffic Department of the Royal Grenada Police Force says it will continue to enforce measures implemented since the declaration of the limited state of emergency. Superintendent Randy Connaught, who is in charge of the Traffic Department, says motorists can expect to see vigilant checks at strategic locations across the island. As was from the commencement of the, the emergency regulations, we will sustain our efforts in the vehicular checkpoints that are established across the island. And these checkpoints are strate strategically positioned to ensure, and especially as we move into the third phase, that parish boundary regulations are maintained. We also would continue our efforts with the static checkpoints to ensure that persons within parish boundaries do not use the opportunity, even though you have a special access permit, to move without any sense of purpose. And that is what we want persons to ensure that whenever you move, it must be with a sense of purpose. Your permit is not an exclusive right to just traverse the area. Mobile patrols will be heightened and relocation of traffic officers should be expected throughout Grenada to ensure that the regulations are adhered to. Our mobile patrols, which obviously would be increased throughout the towns and suburbs across the island. And our operations generally would be intelligence-based and our enforcement and management operation on shopping days and refueling days also as approved by the Commission of Police, would see heightened presence of not just only traffic officers for the maintenance of law and order and the traffic regulations, but to ensure that at least the distancing protocols are maintained. This is the National Report. We'll have more news after the break. Protect yourself and our community from COVID-19. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 70% alcohol. Use a tissue when blowing your nose, sneezing, or coughing. Immediately discard the tissue properly and wash or sanitize your hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Let's do our part to ensure that each and every Grenadian remains healthy. To stay up to date, visit the Government of Grenada's webpage or the Ministry of Health's Facebook page. For more information, contact the Ministry of Health's hotline by calling 53-VIRUS. This has been a public service announcement brought to you by the Ministry of Health. Welcome back. With all gas stations being opened on Thursday, farmers are being presented with an opportunity to fill their tanks. While another gas station was opened on Wednesday, not all farmers were allowed to access the gas pumps. Superintendent Vani Cohen, officer in charge of the Community Relations Department, says they are trying to devise a systematic and organized way to allow certain sectors of the farming community to refuel. Farmers that have been considered now as farmers who have nurseries or farmers who are involved in animal husbandry, farmers who have nurseries, or farmers who have animals to, to tend. Or other registered and recognized farmers will be considered. We understand that all farmers or all categorization of farmers will not be able to access the pump. We expect some disappointments, but I can assure you that the powers that be are working feverishly to ensure that all farmers at some point will be able to fill up at the pumps. Finally, in the news, the Grenada Tourism Authority, GTA, has launched its digital campaign, Hashtag Grenada Dreaming, in response to dealing with the challenges posed by the global pandemic, COVID-19. The campaign aims to keep Grenada in the minds of visitors and potential visitors through the posting and sharing of photos and videos depicting the destination on social media. GTA's response strategy began with empathy messages expressing that we are all in this together and encouragement to stay safe. In addition, social media platforms and email signatures have been updated with a stay safe and we look forward to welcoming you back soon message. Communications officer Ria Murray tells GIS more about the campaign and how Grenadians can play their part in its promotion. So as people remain in quarantine in their homes, a lot of people are waiting for the day when they can travel again. So this is how Grenada Dreaming 
was born. And uh, it's a positive digital campaign, and we are just putting positive messages out there and reminding people as to why Grenada Caracol and Pity Martinic is such a great destination, and we want them to keep dreaming, and when they're able to travel, we would like them to come to Grenada. So the images that we are sharing are evocative. Um, they're images of the destination, things you can enjoy in the destination. And there's also the added component of inviting persons who would have visited Grenada before to we're inviting them to share images of their experiences in Grenada, Caracol, and Petit Martin. And also, not just visitors, but citizens as well. We want everybody to get in on this campaign, and we want this hashtag to go far and wide. According to Murray, Grenada has in the past used various international trade shows and conferences to promote the destination. However, with the closure of ports and borders, the uncertainties that surround COVID-19, the digital campaign is Grenada's best bet. It is a digital campaign and we appreciate why, because travel is not possible at this time and it's only basically the digital um, media that we have, basically a lot of newspapers are not even doing print versions but only online versions. So we see this um, particular campaign, we know it can be successful and we're already seeing it bearing dividends in terms of I'm getting emails from um, a number of our international publications and media partners and so on and they're telling me this campaign is great and we've posted the content online. The CTO is also, that's a Caribbean tourism organization, they're also behind us and sharing our videos, sharing our photos, so we're very, very, very grateful for that. The campaign was launched on Monday, April 6th, and will conclude once Grenada and the rest of the world return to a state of normalcy. It is indeed indefinite for now, and, um, but elements would change as we go along, um, as we get information from the government as to where we are headed. That story just ended the national report for today, Wednesday, April 8th. Let's recap the top story. Shopping sequence to be implemented for grocery shopping days this weekend. On behalf of the entire news team here at the Government Information Service, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Until next time.